Good day everyone, my name is Arslan and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we have a very interesting video inside Revit in which I have modeled and uh, rendered a gas station. So as you guys can see here, this is the gas station that I have rendered and uh, the total plot area that we have is about 22,000 square feet. And uh, within the gas station, we have, as you can see, about four gas pumps. And uh, we have a store or a utility store on the side. And we have a total of four lines within our gas station. So every line has about uh, 3.5 meters of width. And uh, we even have these solar panels installed. And both of these roads, one of them is uh, an exit and the other one is an entrance. And uh, they, lead, uh, they lead towards the main highway, all right? So this is the gas station that I've modeled and uh, it's completed. So really let's check out the night rendered uh, view of our project. And uh, as you can see, this is our night view. And uh, we have these ceiling lights right here. And uh, we have these long tubes. Similarly, we have this small sitting area on the side. And uh, this is our, uh, a side door that I've installed. Similarly, these are the gas pumps. And uh, this is the store, the utility store, which we have. And, uh, you know, as you can see, the, the roof the, the roof slab of our gas station is connected with the utility store, right? So the gas station, uh, I mean the gas pumps and the store has the same roof, right? It's the same casted roof. And uh, we have a total of four lanes. Each uh, lane has a width of 3.5 meters. So this is our, our gas station project that I've completed. And uh, one of the entrance is an exit and the other one is an entrance and both of them are connected to the highway similarly uh, as you can see we have a very beautiful side curb which looks uh, very realistic on both sides and uh, check this one out on this side we have these uh, curtain windows and uh, we even have these four openings on our roof as you guys can see here and uh, every opening again has windows on them I mean they have these uh, these curtain windows and uh, these are the the ceiling lights that I've installed and similarly this is our store and uh, there are a total of four gas uh, pumps and four lines and these are our solar panels which would make electricity by sunlight. So let's go to Revit and uh, further check this model out. So as you can see guys, we are inside Revit and uh, this is the, the unrendered view of our model. And uh, for example, let's go to our top view and uh, let's go to our wireframe mode. So this is our project. Uh, as I previously said, a, a total of four lines. And uh, okay, let this loading finish. A total of four lines, every line having a width of 3.5 meters. And this is our main store. These are the four gas uh, pumps. And uh, both of these roads are connected to the highway. So the total area of this is about 22,000 square feet. And, uh, you know, I've, I've, uh, I haven't I've included the modeling part, uh, but I'm going to show you the main commands that I've used to get uh, to make this model. So for this top roof, I've used uh, roof by extrusion. All right, uh, roof by extrusion, the command I've used, and uh, which is in our architectural section roof by extrusion and I've uh, similarly for these I've just used the normal floors and uh, for these holes I've I've I you know I initially used the model in place to model four slabs right here and then 
I created a curtain system, right? So this is the curtain system, and then I deleted that model in place, that masses that I initially made. So I made four voids using the model in place, and then I deleted the voids and created a curtain system by that. Because we cannot create a curtain system without selecting anything, right? So I made generate generic models, and then I made them voids, and then I uh, used the curtain system to select those four uh, generic models and then I deleted them so we have this and uh, uh, in this area again I've uh, I used the the roof the roof by extrusion tool from this side I made the wall inside and then I changed it into the curtain wall and then I made a hole by using the by face tool right and opening by face tool and uh, these are the normal floors. Similarly, I made this store and I used the attach to top command and I connected it with the top roof that we have. So, and then for the railings, I've used, I, I made a new family, uh, a new rail family, and then I made the model. And then these are rails, right? So, making the rails, uh, the side curves using the rail method, which I've even previously talked about in my other videos. So this is making the side curves using the rail method. And then these are the other components, our trees and uh, humans and the cars and everything. I've added, added them. These are low poly components, so they wouldn't take uh, a lot of memory from my system. So these are, uh, anyways, guys, th so this was uh, the gas station project that I recently completed. And uh, I've even showed you guys the, the commands that I used, roof by extrusion and uh, openings and walls and curtain walls. And uh, for, the, for the site, I've used the massing and site, which is in this section. And uh, for the splitting, I've used subregion, right? So I've, I'm even going to add uh, rendered images by the end of this project. So, and uh, you know, let's quickly even add uh, there's the sign of this gas station is missing so I'll quickly add that too so we can do that by the architectural and uh, model text let's just name it as gas station let's um, set the new work plane for the for the sign that we have and uh, You'd even have to fix the, the rotation and orientation of our of our sign. And for you know, for the materials, I'm going to choose something that glows, something that's luminous. Okay, so our sign is completed, and let's go check out the rendered view of this. All right, guys. So this is the rendered view of our gas station sign, and uh, as you can see here. I'm going to fix the the play the position of this but I just wanted to quickly show it to you in the video so this is our sign and uh, this is our gas station project which I completed so as you can see here guys uh, uh, you know it has that luminous material onto it which I talked about so so that you know it gives us that that neon look right I want that neon look into it so this is the gas station sign so this was our project guys i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video i hope you guys learned something from it and uh, you know there are also many other gas station videos that i'm going to include and uh, this was just the first one so stay tuned with us and uh, learn something from our videos all right so stay tuned and uh, have a good day thank you